What's going on NFL fans and welcome back to another video here on Touchdown Kingdom. Week 2 of the NFL season is in the books and we're super excited to bring you our predictions for week 3. As always, thank you to our sponsor BetUS for powering today's video. Let's get right into the predictions. Up first we have the Patriots at the Jets. After being written off for the entire offseason as one of the worst teams in the league, the Patriots have managed to get off to a pretty solid 1-1 one one start. They remain a pesky team that will not allow easy wins. They're set to play their division rivals, the New York Jets, at their home opener this Thursday night. The Jets have a much more talented roster and should win the game, but it'll be closer than people think. Jets win 21-17. Moving on to the Chargers at the Steelers. Both teams are 2-0 heading into this Week 3 matchup, and someone is going to be walking away with their first L of the year. The Steelers always find a way to play good football on the backs of their defense, even if their offense can't find ways to consistently score points. The Chargers' strength is their offense, and that's what this game is going to come down to. If the LA Chargers can score three touchdowns, they should win the game. Chargers win 24-17. Moving on to the Bears at the Colts. Caleb Williams didn't perform well in the Bears' Week 2 loss, but neither did Anthony Richardson and the Colts. This will be a battle between two young and relatively inexperienced quarterbacks, and whichever team makes the smaller number of mistakes should come out on top. I do like the weapons that the Bears have on offense, but distributing the ball has been the issue. Give me the Colts at home, 21-18. Next, we have the Eagles at the Saints. This could be the game of the week between two high-powered offenses. Although the Eagles are coming off of a disappointing and low-scoring loss to the Falcons, their offense can still turn it up at any point. Meanwhile, the Saints are the talk of the NFL after beating up on their first two opponents of the year, with the destruction of the Cowboys last week being most impressive. They could be for real, and this is another great test for them. I like the Saints to get the win at home, 24-21. Are you looking for a new book this football season? Well, BetUS is the answer. BetUS is the number one online sportsbook in the world with the fastest payouts in the industry. BetUS has 24-7 personalized service all year long, and they also have live wagering options for all games. They simply have the best betting variety in the business. All of the odds we break down in this video will be directly taken from BetUS Sportsbook website. Sign up today and get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000 using the code YouTube150. Moving on to the Texans at the Vikings. Both teams are 2-0 heading into this Week 3 matchup. Sam Darnold has been extremely impressive so far as quarterback one of Minnesota, and it's very possible that his great play can continue into this week against the Texans, who have yet to have a truly dominant win on the year. This game could be very close, but I honestly love what I've been seeing from Minnesota and from a quarterback in Sam Darnold who has nothing left to lose. Vikings win 23-20. Moving on to the Giants at the Browns. The Browns are back to 1-1 one one after an awful first game of the year. Even though they don't look like the same Browns of the last few years, they still remain the far better team than the Giants, who are competing with Carolina to see who can be the worst franchise in the NFL. Browns win 27-20. Up next, we have the Broncos at the Buccaneers. The Bucs are 2-0 led by Baker Mayfield at quarterback. He's had quite the NFL story so far, and it feels like he's finally found home in Tampa Bay. They're off to a 2-0 start and are now playing at home against the Broncos, who are still looking for their first win on the year. I like the Bucs to get the win 23-14. Next, we have the Chiefs at the Falcons. The Falcons are feeling great after beating the Eagles this past Monday night, but going from one great team to another is often very difficult. The defending Super Bowl champions are up next on Atlanta's schedule, and I don't expect the same outcome as last week. Mahomes is just too good late in games, and I expect the Chiefs to get yet another win this week, 28-21. Moving on to the Packers at the Titans. The Packers hung on to beat the Colts without quarterback Jordan Love. Malik Willis got the start and will continue to play heading into this next matchup. The Titans are coming off of a loss to the Jets in which quarterback Will Levis had another pair of brutal turnovers. If Levis continues this trend against Green Bay, I like the Packers to come out on top. Green Bay wins 21-17. Up next we have the Panthers at the Raiders. 
The Panthers are clearly the worst team in football, and second-year quarterback Bryce Young has now officially been benched for veteran Andy Dalton. I don't really think this means anything in the long run, as the Panthers are just a mess from top to bottom. The Raiders are going to win at home 23-13. to Next, we have the Dolphins at the Seahawks. The Dolphins are without their starting quarterback, and Tua's future in the NFL is very uncertain. Let's all keep our fingers crossed for him and his health, but either way, the Dolphins have to head across the country to play a tough Seahawks team. I definitely like Seattle at home in this matchup. I'm just not sure how the Dolphins will look without their starting quarterback. Seahawks win 24-20. Moving on to the Lions at the Cardinals. The Lions are 1-1 one one after dropping last week's matchup to the Bucks. While I think the Lions are better than the Cardinals overall, Arizona has had a great start to their season. They barely lost to a very good Bills team back in Week 1, and they just destroyed the Rams by 31 points last week. I like how they're playing football, running it through James Conner, and getting rookie wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. involved in the offense as well. This game could go either way, but I like the Cardinals to keep playing well and get a tough win at home. Arizona wins 28-24. Next we have the Ravens at the Cowboys. It feels like it's do or die time for Baltimore, who are sitting at 0-2 through the first two games of the season. Lamar Jackson and the offense have been unable to get the job done late in games, and although the Cowboys are coming off of a loss of their own, I think their defense will hold up and make life tough for the Ravens offense at home. Cowboys win 24-21. Moving on to the 49ers at the Rams. The Rams are currently winless through the first two weeks of the year, and last week in particular was not pretty at all. They got beaten up by the Cardinals in what became a 41-10 blowout loss. Now they have to deal with an angry 49ers team who feels like they should definitely be 2-0. I like the Niners to get back on track and get the win 28-22. Up next we have the Jaguars at the Bills. It's been a rough start to the year for Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars and a hot start for Josh Allen and the Bills. Lawrence does have experience beating Josh Allen, as he's 2-0 against them so far in his young career. That being said, the Jaguars just don't look like the same team this year, and I like the Bills to get another win. Buffalo wins 27-20. And finally, we have the Commanders at the Bengals. The Commanders found a way to beat the Giants without scoring a touchdown last week, but won't be able to repeat that performance against the Bengals. This is an absolutely must-win game for Joe Burrow and Cincinnati as they look to get their first win of the season. Since the NFL expanded their playoffs a few years ago, only two teams have made the playoffs after starting 0-2. The Bengals are one of those teams. Can they do it again? We'll have to wait and see, but i like them to win this Monday night, 28-20. Alright guys, that's going to do it for another predictions video here on Touchdown Kingdom. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss an update on all of your favorite NFL content. And most importantly, don't forget to leave your thoughts and your predictions in the comments below. As always, thanks to our sponsor BetUS for powering today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.